<laughs> Alrighty, here we go. Hey there, everybody. It's a nasty one here again, and welcome back to the next episode of the Buzzards franchise. Even the end of a ten. Last episode, we got our first victory of the season as we defeated the Beavers in a nice pitched game, four to three, behind four starter Jace Gallegos. We got the quality start and the victory, and Peter Bay slammed the door in the ninth inning to hold off the Beavers' late charge. With that win, we're now one and three on the air. We see coming to the battle with the only unbeat, only winless team left in the league, the 0 and 4 Wide Loads, who are last year's champions. They come in at 0 and 4. We come in at 1 and 3. On the mound for both clubs is going to be their ace for their respective pitching staffs. For them, that is Rhiannon Cannon, the 10th year veteran, 0 and 1 with a 5.79 ERA and a 1.93 WHIP. And on the mound for us is 9th year veteran left-hander Jude Hokey, who is locked in. No record, a 0 ERA and a 120 whip. Lineup for today's game, leading off in center field is going to be locked in uh, Jared Mealy. Batting second is tense rookie right fielder Hoots Huerta. Batting third out in left field, locked in Spoori Less, Spoori More. Batting fourth back in the lineup at catcher is burnout Burn Oliver, giving Otis Ingram a day off. Batting fifth at first base, Miriam DDP Doherty. Batting 6th at 3rd base, 10th uh, 3rd baseman Steve Collins. Batting 7th, rookie 2nd baseman Corey Pepperonis. Batting 8th, utility player Turtle Soto at shortstop. And batting ninth is the pitcher Hokey. Let's get it on. Alright, looking to build on that win last episode. Let's see if we can parlay that momentum into a winning streak. As we're back here at home against the wide loads who rely a lot on their pitching this year. Unfortunately, it hasn't worked out for them because their offense is so weak. Uh, the power is almost non-existent. Contact is below average at best. Speed and defense are a little bit above average, and the rotation and bullpen is where this team really shines. Unfortunately, the offense hasn't supported the pitching staff this season, and that is why they're currently 0-4. <coughs> Kruger, Wynn, and Keith will be up first for the wide loads here in the top half. There we are, leading off is 10th center fielder Daxton Kruger, hitting 167 on the year. Not a great start to his campaign, facing the ace Hokey, who's locked in coming into this start. In his first start, Hokey threw six and two-thirds shutout innings, giving up six hits, two walks, and nine strikeouts. Batting average against on the year, 240 for Hokey, as a 120 whip and a zero ERA. He's ready to roll. Here's the lineup for the wide loads. After Kruger, it is shortstop Reeve Wynn. Second baseman Harrison Keith playing a backup position. Batting fourth, locked in catcher Tough Lift in his new team's role. Batting fifth, first baseman Sturdy Woodman in the lineup. Batting sixth, third baseman Runda third. Batting seventh, veteran left fielder Stallion Johnson. Batting eighth, uh, veteran right fielder Jose Tremendo. And batting ninth is the pitcher, Rian and Cannon. Hokey's ready. Here we go. Fastball up high. Ball one. Ball down on the way is low. 2-0 the count. Slider put in. Kruger fouls it back. 2-1 the count. Fastball down and in. That's ripped to second on the ground. Preparoni's there. He'll make the play. One down. Next up is shortstop Reeve Wynn hitting a buck 25 on the season. Two RBIs for the young shortstop. First pitch change up inside, check swing taken, ball one. Fastball away, foul back, one and one the count. Slider down in the way, grounded up the middle, past the diving pepperonis, that is RB, that is a single in the center field for win. So he'll be on with one down. That is going to bring up the third hitter, second baseman Harrison Keith, hitting 286 on the year with an RBI and inside pitch active here. First pitch curveball up, taken high, ball one, good eye there from Keith. Last one down in the way, grounded in the hole to third. Collins dives high hopper over his glove, and that is a base hit. If that had not hit the edge of the grass there, that would have been an easy double play. First and second now, one down here. So locked in catcher, tough lift, hitting 333 on the year with a homer and an RBI. Tenth year bet in his first season here with the wide loads as Hokies no longer locked in. First pitch curveball away. Rip down the third baseline. That is a fair. Oh, foul ball, thank God. 0-1. <laughs> Change up inside. Fouled off again. 0-2 the count to lift. This K-Man activates for Hokey. Fast bumping in. Fouled off. We'll do it again. Slider down in the way. 
Chop the third. Collins charges, fires the second one. Pepperoni's the first double play, and Hokey gets the double play ball. He should have gotten the batter before. As that ends the inning, he gets out of the jam. Bottom one, Mealy, Huerta, and Worrymore do up. Cheers. Leading off for the Buzzards today, locked in the center fielder, Jaron Mealy, hitting 571 with an RBI on the air. He'll be the first batter to face Rhiannon Cannon, the 10th year vet, former Moose product. Now the wide loads ace, Cannon 0-1 with a 579 ERA and a 193 whip. Three earned runs given up in her first start of the season, only going four and two-thirds innings. Nine hits surrendered, two homers, and three strikeouts. Batting average against 391 on the season. And it seems to be the starting pitching that has let the wide loads down as their bullpen hasn't really given a chance. Each of the starters has taken the loss in their first starts. See if they can turn the tide today. Change up outside, misses, ball one. Eater in there, Mealy taken all the way, one and one. That's outside, two and one. Fastball opening, grounded up the middle. Nice diving play under the glove of Keith, though, and that is an infield single for Mealy. So he'll be on to start the game. That'll bring up Hoots Huerta, the right fielder who is tense, rookie hitting 235 with a homer and an RBI on the air. Cutter away, misses ball one. Pick off to first, nothing doing. Mealy back safely. Runner goes. Fast cutter away. Strike called. Throw down by lift. Just late. Stolen base for Mealy. As Jared's in the second. His first successful steal of the season. He's one for two. One and one the count to Huerta. Slider away is skied into right field. Going over for Tremendo. I'll make the catch for the first out as the runner will hold. Tremendo has a good arm. Next up, locked in left fielder Worry Less. Spool Worry More. He's hitting 471 with an RBI on the air. Fastball high, ball one. Cutter up is chased and popped up behind first. Woodman there to make the catch, two down. Runner still at second for burnout. Burn Oliver, the catcher. RBI man active for Oliver, who started the year one for nine in the batter's box. Looking to turn it around here, see if he can activate, use that active trait to his advantage for once. Fastball in there, strike called, 0-1. Fastball away, ground and then the hold of second. Keith dives, cuts it off, fires to first. In time, and that will end the inning as, once again, Burnout fails to deliver to the second. We're scoreless. Woodman third and Johnson do up against Hokey. <laughs> Leading off the inning is first baseman Sturdy Woodman, who was on the buzzards for the last half of last year. Hitler's on this season, is first with the wide loads. First pitch slider inside. Check swing just misses. Ball one. Fastball away. That's grounded to third. Collins on the backhand. Fields it cleanly to first. One down. Next up is third baseman. Run to third. Tenth year vet hitting 083. Former Crokinons player. First pitch change up away is outside. Ball one. Fastball down and in. Swung through it. One and one. Her ball up and in. Way inside almost hits her as she backs away. Two and one. Slider middle of the way. Fouled off. Two and two the count. Pass ball down in the way. Blew it by her strike three. First punch up for Hokey today. Two down. Base is empty for veteran left fielder Stallion Johnson hitting 214 with a homer and three RBIs. Pass ball away. Way outside. Ball one. Her ball down and in is just low, 2-0. and oh. Change up away. Taken for a strike, 2-1. and one. Slider middle of the plate, foul back, 2-2 two, two the count. Her ball down and away. Strike three called on the bottom corner as he just looks on in disbelief. Back-to-back -back K's for Hokey and the second, bottom two, were scoreless. Doherty, Collins, and Pepperonis do up. Leading off the inning, five hitter Merriam DDP Daugherty. First baseman only hitting 250 on the air, but she did hit a home run last episode, which drove in her first two runs of the season. Heater at the knees, strike cold, 0 1. That's away, 1 and 1. Curveball away on the check swing, good take low, 2 and 1. 
Soccer ball down on the way. Bloop to left field shallow. Right at Johnson. He'll make the catch. One down. Next up is third baseman Steve Collins. He is tense. Contact versus righty active. Hitting 188 on the year. Two RBIs. Not a great start to the season for Steve. Slider away. Strike called. 0 1. Peter low. Ball one. Fastball up. Swung through it. One and two to count. Fastball inside. Popped up. Foul on the third base side. Runda by the stands. She'll put it away. Two down. Base is empty for rookie second baseman Corey Pepperonis. Powerless right hander active here. Hitting 500 with an RBI on the season. Fastball inside. Strike called. 0 and 1. Curveball down and then is inside. 1 and 1. Fastball middle in line to short right at win, and he makes the easy catch. That's a 1 2 3 inning. To the third, we're still scoreless. Tremendo, Cannon, and Kruger do up for the wide loads. Right. Jose Tremendo leading off. Right fielder hitting 200 on the season, batting in the eighth slot today. First pitch changeup up and away. Chased it outside. 0 1. Fastball middle in. Blew it by him. Called a strike. 0 2. Slider down in the way. Outside. 1 and 2. Curveball down and in. Chased it in the dirt. Strike three. Oliver picks it and fires the first. That's the third straight punch up for Hokie today. One down, and that'll bring up Rhiannon Cannon. Pitcher is hitless on the season. Batting in the nine slot for the wide loads. Oh, right. Got it. I hate this. That's a spam. Gotta hate people like that who come into your chat and spam shit. Anyway, Cannon up next. Hitless on the air for the pitcher. Heater up, line to left, right at Worry More. He'll make the easy catch. One down. Two down in the inning. And that'll bring up center fielder Daxton Kruger, who is 10, so for one today. First pitch curveball down and in. Strike called, 0 and 1. Basketball down in the way is outside. 1 and 1 the count. Slider inside, fouled off, one and two the count. Change about the knees, fouled off, Kruger stays alive. Last ball up and away, chased it outside, strike three, fourth punch out for Hokie today, and that ends the inning. Another scoreless one for Jude, and he sets him down in order. Bottom three, Soto do up first, then Hokie and Neely. Same spot in the lineup. First pitch to Soto. Shootstop takes it high. 1 0 the count is Soto only hitting 200 on the air. Another slow start for the utility players. That's in there at the letters. 1 and 1. That's in there as well. 1 and 2 the count. Fastball down on the way. Fouled back. 1 and 2 remains the count. Fastball up. He pops it up. Shallow left center field. That's a no man's land. Going out for a win. He'll run it down. 1 out. Nice hustle from the shortstop. Next up is the pitcher, Hokey. He's hitless on the season. But he is locked in, so maybe that'll turn the tide a bit in his favor against the now locked in Cannon. Heater in there at the knees, 0-1. Slider down and then grounded up the middle under Cannon's glove, barehanding it as Keith. He'll make the play to first, two down. Base is empty for center fielder Jared Mealy, who singled his first time up and then stole second base. So far the only one of our batters to reach base. Slider down and the way is low, ball one. Heater away is outside, 2 of the count. Fast down and then swung through it, 2-1. and one. Slider down, chop behind the plate, 2-2 two, two, the count to Mealy. Curveball way high, full count as walk prone activates for Cannon. Fastball at the knees, skied by Mealy to right center field, into the gap it goes. No one's going to get there as it's down for extra bases as Mealy will be on with a two-out double. 
He's in scoring position two down. His cannons down to Nutra Mojo. Here's the rookie Hoots Huerta looking to drive in a run and get out of his uh, hitting slump that he's been in. Change up away, misses. Ball one from Cannon. Fastball away is hit off the end of the bat to shallow right field. Tremendo's got to get there, and he will as that will end the inning as once again Huerta struggles to deliver to the fourth where scoreless win, Keith, and lift. Part of the lineup up for the wide loads. Win leading off, one for one today with a single. Fastball up is high, ball one. Her ball away, fouled back, one and one the count. Change it down and in is low, chased it anyway, one and two the count. K-Man versus tough out active here. Slider down in the way, chased it in the dirt, strike three. Oliver picks it and fires the first. That's the fifth punch out for Hokey. one down in the inning. Now to bring up Harrison Keith, one for one today with a single. And he was erased on a double play ball in the first inning. Fastball up and away is high, ball one. Third ball away, line at the middle on the ground, base hit for Keith, his second hit today, he is two for two. He's on with one down, and that'll bring up lift, catcher grounded into a double play his first time up, he's 0 for 1. Still locked in though, despite that fact. First pitch slider hangs, that's fouled back thankfully, 0 and 1. Third ball down in the way, in the dirt, good block by Oliver, 1 and 1 the count. Fastball down and in, chopped in front of the plate, fair ball, Oliver fires the second one, Pepperoni's the first, double play. The second double play lift is hit into, and that ends the inning as we head to the bottom of the fourth. We are still scoreless, Swarrymore, Oliver, and Doherty do up part of our lineup. Let's see what we can do. Both aces pitching well here to start the day, we'll see if that trend continues. Not something the wide loads are used to this season, based on how badly their pitching struggled. Warrior up first, he's 0 for 1. Popped out to right his first time up. Strike in there, 0 and 1. Curveball low and inside, 1 and 1. Curveball at the knees, lined off the end of the bat to center, but it's right at Kruger, 1 down. Next up is Burnout. Grounded out the second his first time up, he's 0 for 1. Peter Hyde misses, ball 1. Peter down and in, strike called, 1 and 1. Chased it up and away, one and two the count. Cannon now locked in again. Chased it outside, strike three. First punch out for Cannon. Two down in the inning, and that'll bring up DDP. 0 for 1 today with a fly out. Change up in the dirt, ball one. Peter in there at the knees, one and one the count. Basketball middle plate, line to third, right at Runda, and she'll make the catch to end the inning. Well, both pitchers are dueling to the fifth. We're still scoreless. Woodman third and Johnson do up against Hokey. There's Woodman. He's 0 for 1 today. There's his fastball middle of the plate. Fouled back. 0 and 1. Slider down in the way. Check swing strike called. 0 and 2 the count. This came in and Whiffer activate for the respective players. Change up down and in. Check swing inside, one and two. Last ball and away. Blew it by him, strike three. Sixth punch up for Hokey today. One down in the inning. That'll bring up run to third, who's over one today. Hokey now on fire. Slider inside, misses, ball one. Last ball down in the way. Grounded foul, out of play. One and one to count. Change up, up and away. Outside, two and one. Slider down and in. Chop foul. Out of play. 2-2 two -two the count. Fair ball away. Hold foul. Runda stays alive. It still stays at a 2-2 two -two count. Pass ball up and in. Blew it by her strike three. Seventh punch out for Hokey. Two down in the inning. And that'll bring up Johnson. Who's 0 for 1 and 10. He struck out looking his first time up. Let's put the change up away. Out in front of it. As he's looking foolish. 0-1. Oh Fair ball down and in. Fouled off. 0-2 oh the count. Fastball down on the way. Grounded up the middle base hit as uh, Johnson guessed correctly on the pitch as he'll be on there with a two-out single. Back to neutral mojo as well as that keeps the inning alive for Tremendo who's 0 for 1. Slider in the dirt. Ball 1. Good block by Oliver. Fastball up and away. Fouled back. 1-1 the count to Tremendo. 
Well down the way. Look around and up the middle. Pass the diving pepperonis into center. Two on, two down now as that'll bring up the pitcher slot. Here's Cannon. Line out to left her first time up. She's locked in. Let's see if she can solve Hokey. Slider down and in on the first pitch is low. Ball one. Fastball down in the way. Low. Two and oh. Curveball down low in the dirt. Three and oh. Fastball down and in. Good block by Oliver, but that is a four pitch walk to the pitcher. Base is loaded now. Here's Kruger. 0 for 2 and tense. Fastball down and in. Just inside. Ball one. Change up up. Kruger pops it up. Foul territory on the left side. Worrymore giving chase. Can he get there? Lays out for it. Makes the diving catch and avoids the wall as he saves runs. Good job, Worrymore. Bottom five. We're still scoreless. Collins, Pepperoni, and Soto do up. That's why he is worry less, people. Here's Steve Collins. Third baseman struck out his first time up. He's 0 for 1 today. Peter in there, strike called, 0 and 1. In there again, 0 and 2. Curveball down in the way, grounded up the middle. Base hit for Collins as that sees its way into center. Lead off man on here in the fifth as he's back to neutral mojo and Steeler will activate for the young third baseman. Time to bring up rookie Corey Pepperonis. 0 for 1 today. Grounded out to short as for, or did he line out? Don't matter. Long look by Cannon over at first as that change up's in there at the knees. 0 and 1. Fastball middle in, broken bat pop up, shallow right center. Out for Keith, he'll run it down for the first out. That'll bring up Soto, who's 0 for 1 today. Looking to get something started here. Pick off to first. Collins back safely. Runner goes. Fastball in there at the letter. Strike called. Throw down by lift. No chance to get Collins as he's in there safely. Collins' his first attempt to steal this year. He is 1 for 1. 0 and 1 to count to Soto here with the RBI chance. Pick off the second. Nothing doing as Collins back safely. Fast bump and in, hitting the hole to first and second. Woodman over for it, cuts it off. Flips the cannon in time for the second out as Collins stays at third. That'll put the pressure on Jude Hokey, who's over one. Pause that real quick. Got to get back in there. There we go. Peter high, ball one. Peter in there at this time with the letters. One and one the count. Fastball middle in, chopped up the middle. Keith there on the backhand, fires in time, and that ends the inning. Still scoreless through five as both aces are pitching well today to the sixth win. Keith and Lift do up against Hokey. There's win, one for two today with a single. First pitch curveball down in the way, in the dirt, ball one. Flatter up it in. Line blooper to right center. Pepperoni's leaps, makes the nice catch. Good play by the rookie, one down. Next up, Harrison Keith, two for two today with two singles as he'll face the now on fire Hokey. Just pitch change up away. Pulled foul, out of play, 0 1. Curveball down in the way. Keith takes a check swing strike at the knees, 0 and 2. Pass popping away. High, 1 and 2. Slider down in the way. Line up the middle base hit for Keith. His third hit today. He is 3 for 3, and so far the only batter to reach base every time he's been up. He's on at first with one down, and that'll bring up Lift, who's 0 for 2. First pitch slider down and in. Inside ball one. Lift is grounded into two double play balls today. See what he does here in this at bat. Last ball up and in. Check swing strike, one and one. Good ball down and away. Grounded in the hole to right field. That is a base hit as it's past Pepperoni's first and second now with one down. It's why those are in business here for Woodman. He's 0 for 2. Sturdy looking to come through. Let's see what he does. First pitch change up inside. Misses off the plate. Ball one. Slider at the knees. Pop foul. Out of play. 1-1 one one the count. Fastball down in the way. Chased it low. 1-2 and two the count. K-Man versus Whiffer. Curve ball up and in. Way inside. Almost beans him. 2-2. Two 
Change up up and away. Ripped into right field on the line over the leaping pepperonis. That's down for a hit. Base is loaded now. One down for the wide loads as they're in business. All the pressure on run to third. She's 0 for 2 today. Can she deliver with the bases loaded? Nowhere to put her. First pitch fastball down in the way. Outside. Ball one. Slider down in the way. Outside again. 2 and 0. Change up down and in. Check swing strike. 2 and 1. Curveball down and in is low. 3 and 1. Fastball down, fouled off, full count now. Game in active. Change it down in the way, check swing, ball four, it's just outside and Hokey walks in a run. Why those lead one to nothing. Now to bring up Johnson, one for two with a single. Hokey's still locked in though, despite walking in that batter. Fastball down low, ball one. Curve ball up and in, inside, two and oh. Last ball away. Johnson fouls it back. Two and one. Change it down in the way. Ball three. It's outside. Slider up and in. Fouled back. Full count. Last ball down in the way. Fouled back. Johnson stays alive. Full count offering coming again. Curveball down. Low ball four. He walked in another run. Two nothing wide loads. Now to bring up Tremendo. One for two with a single and RBI does. Hokey's now no longer locked in. He's down to neutral mojo. Third ball away is outside. Ball one. Fastball down and in is called a strike. One and one. Slider down in the way. Check swing outside and low. Two and one. Third ball inside. Ripped foul. Two to the count to Tremendo. Change up up and away. Foul off. We'll do it again. Fastball down, chased it low, strike three. Everybody has to freeze. Eighth punch out for Hokey, and that'll bring up Cannon. 0 for 1 with a walk. Can she break it open? Fastball down in the way, strike called. 0 and 1. That was pitch number 100. Curveball down and in, fouled off. 0 and 2. Here comes pitch 102. Slider up and away. Chased it outside, strike three. Ninth punch out for Hokey. He gets out of the bases loaded jam, but he walks in two batters before he does. Wide loads lead 2 nothing to the bottom of the 6th. Mealy, Huerta, and Worrymore do up. <sighs> Wouldn't be surprised if that's how we lose. Mealy due to lead off here in the 6th. 2 for 2 today. He's doubled and singled off Cannon. He's locked in. He's also stolen a base. Cutter high. Ball 1. Change up low. 2-0 the count. Cutter in there at the letters. 2-1. and one. Change up, rip foul behind the plate. 2 2 the count. Change up out in front of it, strike three. First, second punch out for Cannon today. One down, and that'll bring up Huerta, who's 0 for 2. Fastball low in the dirt, ball one. Fastball down, and then strike called, 1 and 1. Fastball up, swung late, 1 and 2. Fastball down in the way, pops it up. Shallow right field. In on it, tremendo. He's there for the second out. Next up, Worry More, 0 for 2 today. Lined out and popped out. Slider away, strike called, 0 and 1. Heater in there, strike 2, whiff or active. Passball up, lined at the middle, past Keith in the sprite center. That is a base hit. First hit for Worry More today, he's 1 for 3, and that's our fourth hit today. Next up, Burnout, he's 0 for 2. Fastball on side, strike called, 0 and 1. Slider down in the way, sky to center off the end of the bat, right at Kruger. He barely moves, and that's going to end the inning. To the seventh, it is still 2 to nothing. wide loads. Kruger, Wynn, and Keefe do up. Here's Kruger, 0 for 3 today as he's currently tense. Hokey done after six innings. He gives up two earned runs on a... Eight hits, two walks, and nine strikeouts. He pitched really well, but those two walks are going to kill us. And the offense isn't here to help him. We're going to double switch here, coming on to play for us. We're going to double switch out Hokey. We're going to bring in... Uh, who should we go to? Let's go to right-hander Alvin Resplendent. 
are going to take out Burnout, and we are going to bring in Slapper Glute, the left fielder. He'll come in to play catcher, which is his backup position. Resplendent on the year. He has no record, a 270 ERA and a 120 whip. One earned run given up in two appearances, totaling three and a third innings. He's given up four hits and struck out three batters with one hit batsman. His batting average against on the year is 286. Facing the top of the wide lineup line up here. Heaters outside, ball one. Good ball inside, check swing strike to Kruger, one and one. Slider down in the way, way outside and low, two and one. Work ball down and in, low, three and one. Pass ball up and away, check swing high, ball four. First walk for Resplendent today. Lead off man on, here's win, one for three with a single. Fork ball down, strike called, 0 and 1. Fastball inside, misses, 1 and 1. Slider at the knees, grounded up the middle, past the diving pepperonis into center. Two on to start the inning for the wide loads again as they look to add to their lead. Nobody out, here's Keith, power of his right hander and inside pitch active. He's also locked in, 3 for 3 today with three singles. First pitch fork ball away. Check swing outside, ball one. Curve ball down and away in the dirt, two and out. Fast ball up and away. Keith skies at the left field off the end of the bat. Warmer back a few steps, he's there for it. Catches it for the first out, runners have to hold. Next up, catcher tough lift, one for three with a single. He's also grounded into a double play twice. First pitch, curve ball down and away. Outside, ball one. Work ball down and in. Strike called. One and one. Slider up. Lift skies at the center off the end of the bat. Mealy in a few steps to his right. Or his left out there in right center. Makes catch for the second out. Runners again have to hold. Now to bring up Woodman. One for three with a single. First pitch fastball down and away. Strike called. 0 and one. Work ball down and in. Inside and low. One and one. Work ball down, in the dirt, two and one. Pass ball up and in, fouled back, two to the count as Whiffer activates for Woodman. Slider down and in, rip foul, Ooh, he was on that one. Two two pitch coming from Resplendent, fast ball down in the way, low, three and two. Work ball up and away, runner goes on the hit and run. Sky ball to right center and shallow. Pepperoni's out for it. Second baseman is there. He'll put it away in Resplendent after giving up a leadoff walk and a single. Strands the runners. Bottom seventh, it's two to nothing. Daugherty, Collins, and Pepperoni's do up. Need to get something started here. Daugherty leading off. She's over two today. First baseman looking to come through against Cannon. Fastball in the dirt. Ball one as it bounces. Fastball outside, two and oh. Change up inside, misses, 3-0. and Walk prone active for Cannon. Heater in there, 3-1. and one. Cutter low, ball four. First walk today for Cannon. Lead off woman on here in the seventh. Now to bring up Collins, one for two with a single. Daugherty over at first. Contact for his right, he's still active here. Cutter in there at the letters, 0-1. Cutter up and away, grounded in the hole, past the diving Keith into right field. First and second now, none down as the Buzzards have the tying run on and the go-ahead run coming to the plate. Here's rookie Corey Pepperonis. Broken bat pop out last time up. He's 0 for 2. Looking to find his first hit today. Fastball down and then strike called. 0 and 1. Fastball up, line back up the middle right at Keith who makes the easy catch. One down, everybody freeze. Next up's Turtle Soto. Shortstop's 10, so for 2 today. Slider inside misses, ball one. Curveball middle in, line to second. It's right at Keith again, two down. Now to bring up Slapper Glute, catcher getting his first at bat of the season. Veteran was signed to replace Miyoshi after la two episodes ago. Trying to come through in his first at bat, former Heaters product in his 10th year. Still a decent hitter somewhat. Right down the middle, 0-1-1. Cutter up, grounded then a whole base hit in the left field past the diving win. Coming around third and trying to score is Daugherty. 
And she is a dead to rights at the plate. Of course she is, because God hates me. To the eighth, it is two to nothing. Third, Johnson and Tremendo do up against Resplendent. There's third, 0 for 2 today with a walk and an RBI. First with the fork ball up and away. Strike called, 0 and 1. Fastball up. Strike called on the check, 0 and 2. Third ball down and away, way outside, 1 and 2. Slider down and in. Fouled off, still 1 and 2 to third. Fork ball down and in. Check swing low, 2 and 2. Fastball up and in. Inside, full count. Fastball down on the way. Grounded the second. Pepperonis to his right. Backhands it cleanly to first. One down. Third now tense. Now to bring up Johnson. One for two with a single walk and an RBI as he walked with the bases loaded last time up to drive in a run. First pitch curveball down on the way. Strike called. 0-1. Fastball down and in. Low on the check swing. 1-1. Slider in there. Grounded foul. 1-2 and two the count. Work ball down and the way. Chased it in the dirt, strike three. First punch up for Resplendent, two down. Base is empty for Tremendo, one for three today with a single. First pitch fastball down and in, low, ball one. Work ball down, grounded the first on the chopper. Daugherty charges, bare hands, taps the bag. One, two, three, inning for Resplendent. Bottom eight is two to nothing. Mealy, Huerta, and Worrymore do up. Let's make some magic happen, boys, come on. Here's Mealy, two for three today, double and a single. Struck out last time up. Heater away, misses. Ball one. Heater up and away. One and one. Change of down. Pulled in the hole. Backhanded by Wynn. Fires the first. Just laid infield single for Mealy as he was busting it down the line. Next up, Huerto for three today. Looking for his first hit. Cannon done after seven plus innings after the leadoff single here in the eighth. Coming out of the bullpen to try and close the door. Young closer blind harsh winter. Making his season debut, so no numbers to look at for him, unfortunately. Cannon ends up going seven plus innings. She gives up uh, seven hits and one walk. No earned runs. Shutout so far. She is in line for the win. She will get a quality start. Runner at first, her responsibility, though. Huerta ready to face Harsh Winner. Fastball away, misses. Ball one. Curveball hangs. Huerta deposits it right center field. Hit pretty well. Carrying to the warning track. It is over. Kruger's has the one hops to the wall. That'll be a double for the rookie Huerta as he drives in his second run of the season. Scoring from first is Mealy. 2-1 the score. Tying run in scoring position for Worry Less. Left fielder one for three today with a single last time at the plate. Peter high from harsh winner. Misses ball one as that was a mistake pitch and he paid for it. Peter inside. 2-0 the count. Look out now. Curve ball away, bloop to right center, over the leaping Keith down in right center for a base hit. Coming around third is Huerta. He is going to score. RBI single for Warrior We are tied at two, and just like that, it is a brand new ball game. As Resplendent do up next, we will pinch hit for the reliever. Coming off the bench to take a crack at it. It's going to be back up. Ooh. Hmm. Who do I want? Give him a shot, why not? Backup second baseman Bruno Adamo, the 10th year vet, getting his first at bat of the season. He was signed after uh, he was signed two episodes ago to replace Gwendolyn Raquette, making Pepperonis the primary second baseman. Heater in there at the letters. 0-1 is harsh winners now tense. Fastball up, line up the middle, base hit for Adamo as he finds its way into center field. First and second now, none down. Buzzards have the go-ahead run at second. Here's DDP, 0 for 2 with a walk. Good speed on the base pass. Here away, misses, ball one. In the gap, both runners will score probably. Pick off the second, not in time. 1-0 the count. Heater up, bloop, left center field. That'll get it done. Warrior's coming around third. He's going to try and score. He will on the single. RBI to Doherty. It is 3-2. We have the lead. All the runs coming off harsh winner. Next up, Collins. 2-3 for three today with two singles as the closer cannot figure out how to get an out. All four batters he's faced have reached base. Heater down and in, strike called to Collins, 0-1. Heater down in the way, hitting the hole past the diving Keith into right field. Adamo hangs at third as Tremendo's got a good arm. Base is loaded, none down. Here's Pepperoni's the rookie looking to put it out of reach. 0-3 today. 
Come on, Corey. Now's your time. Eater at the knees, 0 and 1. Infield in. Fastball up, lined over to Keith, leaping over his glove into right center. That is down for a hit. One run is in, coming around third, is trying to score is Doherty. Two run double for Pepperonis. It is 5 to 2. Buzzards break it up to a three run lead. Soto do up next is tense. We are going to pinch hit for him. Coming off the bench, backup shortstop Eduardo Electro. 0 for 1 is a pinch hitter on the year. Facing the rattled harsh winner who is yet to get and out. For both the knees, chopped up the middle. Keith passed him into center field. He couldn't get there. One run is in. Coming around third, Pepperonis. He will score. Two runs single for Electro. It is seven to two. <laughs> it's a seven run swing. <laughs> Glued up next. One for one with a single. Pick off the first, and it's airmailed over the first baseman, and Electro takes off for second. He's dinging for third. Woodman finally gets to it and gets it in, but it is a two-run base error. It's a two-base error, and the infield is drawn in again. Come on, Slapper. What do you got for me? Fastball up, grounded a short. Right at win. Drawing the throw, firing to first in time. Runner holds a third. Next up, Mealy, three for four today. He's doubled and singled twice. Ken Jarrod driving the run. First out, Harshwinner's gotten as we batted around here. Strike down and in, 0 and 1. Curveball outside misses, 1 and 1. Member Mealy started the inning with an infield single to shortstop, which knocked Cannon out of the game. Fastball middle in, bloop to center field. That's hanging up a little too long as Kruger makes the catch for the second out. We draw the throw and hold. Huerta up next, 1 for 4. RBI double last time at the plate for the rookies. Also scored a run. Let's see if he can drive in his second run of the inning. Heater up and in is high, ball one. Heater inside, strike called, one and one, good pitch, caught the corner there. Slider is low, two and one. Fastball down and then turned on by Huerta, hit the left center field. That's not going to get over Johnson's glove, though, as he runs it down in the gap to end the inning. But we score seven runs. <laughs> as we take a five-run lead. Okay, how do we want to play this? Can anybody play right field? Uh, Ingram can play right field, actually. So if we leave Adamo in, we could bring Ingram in off the bench to play right field. Can anyone else play right field besides worry more? Because then Huerta's going to go to left. Actually, shit, that works, actually. I got it. Peter Bass coming out of the bullpen to get the save here as we'll double switch here. We're going to take Huerta out. To the ninth, we're up 7-2, to five-run lead. Harshwinter, Kruger, and Wynn do up against base, who's trying to lock it down. This is not a save situation, but we're not taking any chances. Locked in relievers coming in. Here's Harshwinter. He is rattled. We're going to pinch hit for the closer, I'm assuming, boys. And it's Rafael Gonzalo, the first baseman, hitting 308 with a homer and three RBIs on the air. Uh, defensive changes real quick. Uh, Worrymore moving back to right field. Slapper Glute is moving to left field, his normal position. And backup catcher Otis Ingram is coming on to catch for the final three outs. Base on the season has made three appearances on the air. He's 0-1. He has a 3 ERA and a 1 whip. He's given up one earned run and three innings of work. He's also recorded a save, which he got last episode against the B-Wolves. Three hits given up, one wild pitch, one strikeout. Batting average against 250 on the year for base. So defensive changes for this inning. Uh, Warrior over to right field. Glued out to left field. Ingram is now catching. And Eduardo Electro is in its shortstop. First pitch to Gonzalo. Fastball down and in. Off the glove. Ball one. It's also low anyway. Curve ball outside. Misses. 2-0. Oh. Two-seamer down. Low. 3-0. Oh. Post active for base here. Fastball away, driven by Gonzalo down the left field line, hooking into the corner. It is foul. Just missed the pole. Three and one. Slider up and in. Blew it by him. Full count now. Came in active. You see her down and in. Swung through it, strike three. First punch out for bases. He comes back from 3 0 down to nail it. One out, and that'll bring up Kruger 0 for 3 with a walk. Curve ball up. Contact is ready. Active here. Ripped to right center field. Laying out for Mealy. He knocks it down. Gets off him a little bit. As that'll be a double for Kruger with one down. Second hit today for him. That'll bring up Win Two for four with two singles. You see him right at the knees. Grounded the short. Right at Electro. He looks the runner back. Fires the first. Two down. 
Last chance for the wide loads today is Harrison Keith. He's three for four today. Three singles. He has power pitch right-hander and inside pitch active. First pitch slider away. Fouled off. 0-1-1. A little early on the swing. Fastball down in the way. Strike called. 0-2. Grip up and away. Came in active here. Way high and outside. 1-2. and two. You see me down in the way. Fouled off. Keith stays alive. Fastball up and away. Way outside and high. 2-2. Two and two. Her ball inside, driven by Keith to right center field. Hit pretty well. Mealy tracking it back to the warning track. He's out of room. Leaps off the wall as it just gets under his glove. That'll be a RBI triple for Keith. It is 7-3 as Warrior gets it in. Run charge to base there, and that'll bring up lift. One for four with a single as base no longer locked in. Fastball down in the way. Fouled off, 0-1. You see her inside. Check swing strike, 0-2. Came in active for base. Slider up and away. High. One and two. Good take. Curveball down and in. Check swing low in the dirt. Two and two. Fastball inside. Foul off. We'll do it again. Still a full count. Slider down and in. Grounded to short. Electro charges. He'll clean, field it cleanly on to first, and that will end the game. Buzzards win seven to three as we're on a two-game winning streak. Now up to two and three as the wide loads fall to 0 and five. Defending champs, not looking like champs. That big rally in the eighth inning secured it for us. As that's where we got all of our runs as we batted around in that inning. I believe we sent 12 men to the plate. If I remember, if I counted correctly, I might be wrong. <laughs> uh, we sent 11 to the plate. Okay. Yeah, because Mealy and Huerta batted twice. Okay. But yeah, that's enough to get it done. One big inning is all we needed. Hitless today for the wide loads. We're run to third. Ray Ann and Cannon and Gonzalo the pinch hitter. Four hits today for Harrison Keith. Had an RBI triple to cap his day. Run to third. Had a walk RBI with the bases loaded. Same for Stallion Johnson. Uh, on the other side for us, hitless today were Burnout uh, and Turtle Soto as well as Jude Hokey the pitcher. Three hits today for Jared Mealy at the top of the lineup. He also stole a base. Huerta had an RBI double. Uh, Worry more an RBI single. Daugherty had an RBI single, Pepperoni's had a two RBI double, and Electro had a two RBI single as, uh, with a pinch hit as well. Not a bad day all around. Cannon, seven quality innings. She gives up seven hits, an earned run, a walk, two strikeouts. She falls to, oh, she does not take the loss. She gets a no decision and a quality start. Harsh winner will take the loss, though, as the closer in his one inning of work gives up seven hits, six earned runs. He falls to 0 1. Hokey, quality starts, six innings, eight hits, three walks, two earned runs, nine strikeouts. He gets a no decision. Another quality start for the Gays, though. Resplendent gets the win out of the bullpen. He gives up uh, one hit and one walk, one strikeout, and two innings of relief. He improves the 1-0 in the air, and Pewter Base uh, closes it in the ninth despite giving up two hits, a walk, an earned run, and a strikeout. Player of the game is Harrison Keith with his four-hit day, followed by Rian and Cannon and Jude Hokey for their pitching performances. I will take that any day of the week. That is a very good win. It looked bleak there near the end, but hey, these guys can sometimes still surprise me. They're keeping their season alive, just barely. We're a scrappy team. I like it. Didn't look like it those first three games. Who boy. Who boy. Those first three games were hard. The last two, they've been pretty solid. Love to see it. Have a look around the league here. Oh, uh, what happened? Da -da 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 -da. Where are we? Huerta, plus four power for the rookie. He's determined to get out of his slump by any means necessary. Uh, Shania, yeah, it is Shania Burns, I believe. Shania? Shania. Shania Burns goes to the Wild Pigs as they release Bertram Halfbridge of the third. BH3, baby. <laughs> Harrow Wugliams released by the Moose as they bring in Leonardo Precious, the right fielder. Uh, Cardenas and Mullins are still out there. Okay, so is Bird. Okay, Bird was 7-6 when we originally signed her, so I want to see if she can make it one more episode before we sign her back. The plan is to bring her and Mullins back, but I want them cheaper than what they were making. So Mullins was making 7-7, seven, seven, Bird was making 7-6. Seven, uh, Caden Ford, the first baseman, is picked up by the Wildos as they cut Chet McCarthy, so now they have a competent first baseman on the roster. Uh, Grappler signed Rory Leverage, the young left fielders that cut Betty Sparks. Harold Yates, the utility third baseman, goes to the Moose as they cut veteran Hito Moonshot of the 41-year-old. And Durr Neverwalker is cut by the wide loads, and he'll be replaced by Lad Bradwick, the starter, as they move their fourth starter into the bullpen. He's a long reliever. I believe it is Rhea Costa. 
Okay. Got uh, six games to get through here today. Let's sim up through them, and then we'll do our player development, and then we'll have a preview of next episode for you. That negative 21 run differential is still crap, but, you know, we're working on it slowly but surely. <laughs> Sawteeth beat the Sandcats easily, 7-2 to two there. Uh, Serlin's taking on the Blowfish here. Blowfish rally and win 8-6 to six as they improve to 4-1, and one, top their division. Platypi win in 11 innings over the Heaters, a 7-4. to four. Both teams now tied at 3-2 and two in second place in the division. Crocs win 9-6 to six over the Nemesis, getting their second win. Now it's a three-way tie for third. Moonstar's taking on the unbeaten Heaters and Freebooters, and they do beat the Freebooters there, dropping the Freebooters to 4-1. and one. Grapplers crush the Overdogs for us. Thank you, 13-2. to two. So there are no undefeated teams left now, only one winless team, and that is the Wide Loads. Thank God we didn't lose to the winless team again. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Grapplers up to 3-3 three and three now after that victory. All right, here's the preview for next episode. It is our second divisional contest of the season. We are taking on the Jacks, who will have their ace on the mound. Are you fucking kidding me? Elmo Slayer. God fucking damn it. The 10th year vet. No record, a 0 ERA, and an 0.75 whip. And on the mound for us is going to be either Antonio Smacks or Sancho Silvio. I'm not sure which. <laughs> Let me look at the team and see who's actually ranked higher. Uh, actually, Gallegos is ranked higher than both of them, but uh, he pitched already, so can't go to him. Yeah, we'll do... Um, I'll do Silvio first, then uh, Smacks, unless they're ranked by money. Let's see. 7, 10, 11, carry the 1. 11, 17, okay, 171. Uh, moving to Silvio, 63 and 82 is 5. There's a 6. Uh, 2 and 8 is 10, plus 6 is 166 okay so Gallegos is higher yep uh smacks 42 53 and 70 okay that's five uh four and five is nine plus seven is six so that's oh, five okay so yeah silvio is better than smacks and Gallegos is better than both of them <laughs> so we will give silvio the start here instead of smacks or better yet, we'll just let Smack start. Why not? Antonio Smacks will be on the hill, the veteran left-hander with K-Dud making his first start of the year. Because we resigned him to replace Mullins, who got smacked by the Platypi in his first start. Ironic, we turned to a former Platypi starter to replace a guy who got beat by the Platypi. <laughs> All right, lineup we'll send out there for the next game. Uh, leading off at first base will be Joel Buffums, the former Platypi player, speak of the Platypi. Uh, batting second is rookie left fielder Hoots Huerta, still tense. Batting third and right field locked in right fielder Spool Worrymore. Batting fourth, catcher burnout Burn Oliver. Batting fifth at third base, Merriam DDP Doherty giving Soto a day off. Batting sixth at center field is locked in Jared Mealy. Batting seventh is shortstop Steve Collins in a backup position. Honestly, I would let Electro start if that's what you were trying to do, but all right, well, let it slide. Let it ride, boys. Let it ride. And then batting eighth at second base will be Corey Pepperonis. Uh, batting ninth will be the pitcher Smacks. Let's go ahead and look at player development here, and then we'll sign off for the day. Okay, so we can't afford this one for Buffalo's, which is a pity because she desperately needs fielding. This one for Worrymore, he doesn't really need the extra arm. I mean, it, I don't want to risk his good trades. So, I mean, uh, yeah, it's 2%, but at the same time, they're probably better upgrades. Uh, this one for Silvio. She might not be here for her start, so we'll see about that. Gallegos, you could definitely use the tune-up, not going to lie. That'll be something we'll have to look at next time, unfortunately. Ingram, honestly, bad jumps wouldn't be horrible for him because he could use the fielding in the arm, not going to lie. But, eh. And Oliver, we could get this one for him right here. Gets two speed or seven speed, so improve his speed and his arm. It's a good upgrade for a catcher, so it's cheap. But at the same time, do I want it? Eh, I'll just wait for next episode. I'm not going to spend any money. All right, and that's going to do it for this episode today, guys. A big win, and we came in with a late eighth inning rally with seven runs against the Wide Lutz to knock them down to 0-5 on the year. We win 7-3. to three. We're on a two-game winning streak now at 2-3. and three. Tied for third in the division, but we are in last because of our bad run differential. Uh, so we're going to take on the second-place Jacks next episode and trying to get back to 500 with the victory. Can we keep our winning streak going? Tune in next time to find out. 
made it this deep in the video, guys. Thank you for sticking around, and you got treated with a nice late-inning win. Love to see those. If you haven't already, hit the follow button down below here on Twitch to be notified next time I go live. And if you haven't already on YouTube, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, link to Twitch in the description below, and I'll catch you all in the next episode. Till then, this is The Nasty One, signing off.